221 years ago, there was a bit of a conflict happening. Nelson was chasing after Napoleon back and across the Mediterranean. And he finally found him at a place just along from Alexandria, a place called Aboukir Bay. And the French fleet were there, all lined up. And it took three months to find the French Navy. And when the Royal Navy saw them, a huge cheer went up. Hooray! When the Royal Navy saw them, come on guys, I'm doing, I'm doing my best. When the Royal Navy saw them, a huge cheer went up. Hooray! And because they knew this could be the moment, if they could defeat Napoleon in Aboukir Bay, they could strand the French army in Africa and save Britain from invasion and in effect make free the whole of Western Europe. And what would unfold was one of the greatest naval victories of all time, probably even greater than Trafalgar. Now I want to give you an instant of one moment, because the book is full of moments. One moment on the second ship as they went in on that dark, dark night. Because right on the front of the first ship, the bow of the first ship, there was leading seaman Smith from Norwich. <laughs> and when he saw the French fleet, he rubbed his hands and he turned to his mate from Yarmouth and he said, boy, he said, we're going in. <laughs> Captain Ponsonby, on the deck, looked down at Seaman Smith and said, I hardly think so. It's pitch black. It's dark. We have no proper charts. The fleet is not in the correct formation. And what one really needs to do now is to lay off and we'll go in at the uh, first uh, door. And Smith turned to his mate and said, he ain't served with Nelson before, has he? <laughs> Just then the signal came through, and the number two put his glasses to his eye and read the signal. And there were four words in the signal. The first word was fleet. The second word was two. And the third and fourth words were action stations. And when the fleet saw this signal, fleet to action stations, they gave their final cheer. Hooray! Okay, that's the story. Okay. <laughs> So why did I write this? Well, I've always wanted to write a book, as, as, as Nicky will, will, will tell you, and uh, I never really felt that I had anything to say, <laughs> anything new to say, uh, up until now. Um, but there was a bit of a, a thing happened with me about two years ago. Um, I was chairman of a company and we got into some financial difficulties. Uh, we battled for a year to try and save the business. Uh, in, the, in the end, we, we got the jobs away and, and saved the company, but it was, uh, it was a very, very stressful time. It's probably the most stressful time that I've had in, 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 my, in my entire life. Um, we got through it, but, but it was tough personally for me. Uh, how did I get through it? Well, a lot of love from Nikki and the family and friends and some of you here tonight. That was number one. Number two, I think I'm reasonably fit. Uh, well, that is physical fit, I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> this is Nicky, young man. I've been my life for 28 years. Um, so, and, uh, and, and in addition to that, what I did was I'd actually deployed a large number of things that I'd learned over the previous 40 years. Things that I, all those things to do with time management, stress management. And I started to make a list. And then one of you in the room here tonight said, well, why don't you write this up as a book? This would make, make interesting reading because there are under stress. But what do we do when we come up, up with, <coughs> under severe stress? Well, one story I'd like to tell you is chapter four, which is called The All Blacks. What I want you to imagine is that you are England's rugby fullback. It's Twickenham, and it's the last minute of the game. The game is evenly balanced. <coughs> and running towards you is a New Zealander, an All Black. He is huge. Right, yeah. <laughs> He's even bigger than me. <laughs> Running towards you is a New Zealander. The question I have for you as a leader is, would you back yourself to stop that person? Can you just raise your hand if you're... Now, pretend you are England fullback. Okay, don't pretend you're yourself. You know. Pretend you are England fullback. Would you stop? Can you just raise your hand if you back yourself to take that, that player down? That's about 90%. When I do this with leaders, it, it, it comes out about 90%. So we're, we're typical of that group. Okay, same situ situation. Two all backs. Would you back yourself to stop the try? Hands up, you back themselves to stop the try. Back 
Okay, that's, it's usually between 30 and 50 percent that answer. You're not quite as bullish, you're being better behaved than you normally work with. Um, I mean, the experts say you look to the wrong of the hips, you know, you maybe gamble, take one out, hope he's got the ball, you know. They're, they're all very strategies that you can deploy. Okay, third, third situation. There are three all blacks coming towards you. Move <laughs> back themselves. Okay. Here's the rub. An all black is a major stressor. If you are faced with one major stressor in your life, you can deal with it quite easily. Two, it gets difficult. Three, you've got no chance. The work we've done with leaders has shown that the average leader, the average leader, is dealing between four and six All Blacks in one time. There was a piece of work done in the 60s where they looked at the major stresses in life. We've updated that work for this book. The All Black squad has got 32 players in it. There are 32 things that can cause you major stress. If you've got more than three coming out, you're going to check this in the book, then you said that. So what can you do? Okay, let's be positive. The two things you can do are, number one, Frank, you were about to say... No, no, you... <laughs> okay, no, sorry. Yeah. Um, the number one is, you can take them down one at a time. Because often in business, things aren't all happening at once. We think they are, but we can sequence them. And if we're fit and strong and healthy, we can take them down one at a time and keep going. But often in business, you can't get everything to come in sequence. So what we then have to do is to change the odds on the pitch. And the great news is on our bench, on your bench, you have some of the world's <coughs> best players. So part of this book is a call to arms. It's a call to arms for all of us to try and work with each other and help each other to get to action stations, to bring ourselves to a situation where we can deal with the stress.